Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is now good to see you and everybody, of course, who are the guests of my channel. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, my wonderful collectives. I decided to do another reading for you. And the topic of my reading, what you need to know. What do you need to know about your situation? What do you need to know about your situation? Let's take a look. So what do you need to know? You need to know that you have to keep fighting. You have to stand your ground. You cannot give up. It's a many versus you. You alone. And yet you're above your enemies. They're most likely hiding. They're hiding their faces. They try to avoid you. Or maybe potentially you notice that the, that the individuals that are causing you harm are trying to avoid you. They cannot defeat you. Okay, they, they have been trying to push you off the edge. But they won't. So you need to know, as long as you're going to stand on your ground, as long as you show your karmics and your enemies that you're not a quitter, they will back off. This red rope and the armor that you carry, meaning you are equipped. You are equipped and you are literally standing a one step before your own victory. So that's the first thing you need to understand. That these karmics stand no chance to defeat you unless you yourself will drop that bond. That's what you need to know. What else do you need to know? Nine of Pentacles, a beautiful card, represents represents an individual that will have everything he or she desires. We have grapes in the background. Grapes also represents wealth, stability, abundance, joy. She's in a beautiful home. There is her home and a beautiful garden. We have two trees. Two trees also represents that you most likely won't be alone. Uh, it represents balance. Trees also represents in this particular tarot card as a tree of mother and father bloodline. I feel like in your life you always meant to be successful. I will take a look who tried to prevent your stability, Who's, who, who took away your stability, even if it's a short period of time. But by destiny, you're always going to be successful. You need to know that. What else you need to know? You need to know that there is an individual's Clearly, the karmics who utilize prohibited techniques. You need to know that they're losing. Karmics are losing. Once again, this is card of you armed. You're stronger than your karmics. There's two individuals we see walking away from you in a shame. Back into the waters of life. Heavy storms in this ocean of life. So, like I said, you're fighting for a basic right to be happy. That's what you're fighting for. Know you they will be defeated. What else do you need to know? Ten of Wands. I'll clarify that card. Ten of 
Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords, and a Star. We often, we often achieve our true wish fulfillment through a difficult path. There's not a single person in this entire world that gets things simply easy. Unless they're crooks, unless they're thieves. You will have your wish fulfillment through the battle, through standing your grounds, through carrying these burdens and not dropping these burdens. burdens. All these burdens, I almost feel like these burdens that have been placed on you by the karmics, by your enemies, by your foes, whatever you want to call it, you shaped it into a one want that lean you towards this victory. So don't give up on your dream. Protect your dream. Do not let society with their sick mind to dictate you how you should live your life. You understand? That is your life. This is your dream. And nobody has a right to take that away from you. What else you need to know? You need to know that soon you will be standing in a position of choice. It will be, will be up to you what decisions you have taken. Some of these burdens, they could be burdens related to family. They will be burdens related to betrayal, backstabs, complicated relationship. But soon you will be making the choice. There is something you will leave behind. Something you no longer need. So there will be a very clear filtration of your surroundings. What else? Three of Swords, you're definitely leaving behind this Three of Swords connected to some sort of female. There is a female is involved here in what happened to you. Okay, she's responsible. I feel like that Three of Swords is not your card because for you I have abundance. I have Ace of Wands. It's new beginning. It's new, prosperous, happy beginning. This is, could be a new love. Or this is simply a source and skills and intuition that has been given to you from God himself to be strong enough, dressed in armor, to put this female here who broke your heart, who is not broken. She's right now heartbroken. She's not happy in her place. There's also some King of Swords with her. Two people. Who are these two people to each other? What connects them anyways? What connects these two people? Hmm. <laughs> what connects these people? Well, same ending. Ending of destruction. And drink of destruction. They would really, really love to be transitioned into a calmer waters. But there's a conflict. There is a conflict in their lives. Major conflicts that would lead them into their destructions. So you also need to know that. Okay. Let's take a look. What else do we need to know? What else do you need to understand about this conflict? Negativity. Negativity, like a dark cloud above, so you are depressed. 
and extreme mods, moods. This individual, like I said, throw a lot of negativity. They're responsible for the way you felt. They brought this darkness into your life. All the negativity was brought by these individuals. And relevantly, by playing your cards right, by having a proper strategy, by believing and knowing that you are refusing to participate in any conflicts with this group. That's why there is a destruction. Ne negative people. You understand? Negative. We have a gold digger. Maybe one of this individual for this masculine we've seen in your past. He was just a gold digger. I'm in it for, the, for what they can. Get money hungry, self-serving. Selfish, narcissistic individual. Greedy. A gold digger. Gold digger could be male, could be female, okay? So you understand all this. Two-face. You understand that this people... People are two-faced, all right? Too much games there. They're playing too much games. They did it all to themselves. If they were so greedy for money that they decided to throw all this negativity into your life, I'm sorry, but what do you expect? What do you expect? Right? Secret past. They have a lot of skeletons in the closet. I feel like that person never told you the truth. You didn't know the whole truth about this person. Not a whole truth about your ex. So don't blame, don't blame yourself. This is not your fault that uh, you met an individual who was two-faced and had some pretty messed up skeletons in their closet. So do not blame yourself. You're not the same person as you used to be. So just a little reminder, love yourself, okay? Love yourself. This individual feels empty. I also feel like not knowing who they truly are back then. You kind of believed you waited. You waited for this person. You tried to understand their mindset. You tried to understand... Um, what were they thinking? Why did this individual treat you this way? Why did this um, person treat you this way? You saw that this individual was worth the weight. That um, they at one point would bring you happiness. But the truth was was in your heart all along. You just had to admit to it. You just have to accept it. Okay. Anyways, the story that you're dealing with is ending. It's not the end, but it's ending. Ending because your your enemies they they're ending. They're trying to escape. They know it's over, right? It's over for them. So maybe they're trying to escape. All right. Because they will try to run away. So you will find the truth in this situation. You will understand what was important for this community, male and female. And uh, why they did what they did. Okay. Let's take a look a little bit about your romantic life. So there's a, a, a new start for you. I feel like you're optimistic. There's a potential business plans. There's a lot of strengths. There's a lot of blessings. What else? What else there is for you? Study. Study. 
Maybe you're considering study something. Okay, or maybe you're doing it right now. Okay, that we have study. Study, be attentive. A accept the messages from God and the divine. Learn, you know. We learn throughout our whole life. And as I mentioned, the love, you will have a soulmate. For those who are looking for that. <coughs> so you, there is a soulmate for you. There is a beautiful connection for you. What about the soulmate? Truth. The soulmate is a truth. He's a true man or true woman. Woman you can trust. It's a very rare gift. Right? Big difference between someone who had skeleton in his closet, did not tell you the truth, concealed the truth intentionally, was another female. So this new lover of yours, this soulmate, will never lie to you. They will be truthful with you. You will feel comfortable and truthful with him. I also have passion. Passion, a lot of passion. You, it's, it's a beautiful match. Beautiful match. To fall asleep in the arms of a man that you truly love. Or share the passion with a woman you truly passionate with. That's the definition of soulmate. And love is the greatest gift from God. Love. All right, let's see what else do you need to know about this wonderful, beautiful person that is coming towards you. What else do you need to know about him? We have seven of pentacles. Oh, this individual cannot wait Cannot wait to come to you. Cannot wait. They just want to be with you. Okay. They're ready to carry your burdens on their head. On their back. You will start something new with this person. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy journey at the beginning. It's difficult. But... Um, this individual will cooperate, will work with you, and will offer you, will offer you something new. His cup of love. And we have Hierophant. He's a God-given man to you. And on top of that, justice. Justice, ace of wands, and freedom. This individual will make sure that an individual who caused you harm will be restrained restrained so i don't know who this individual is this individual could be connected to a law enforcement okay so point is if anyone causing you harm they will be finished that's what it is that's what it is and particularly this Queen of Swords. She also could be a Queen of Wands we've seen. Was a masculine. Okay. Very active in causing you harm. So this, this masculine is connected to some sort of organization. Legal organization. Okay. Beautiful, and look at that, Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful, look at you, look at you. The problem that is everything is delaying at this specific moment is because, like I said, these enemies trying to cause any restrictions. 
this battle isn't over. And this battle been going on for five years. Five years. For some of you. And eventually it's going to end. It's going to, to end sooner. Sooner than you expected. Let's pull an oracle card to end this reading. The High Priestess of Earth. That's you. The High Priestess of Earth. Grounded. Fruitful. One with nature. One with beauty. One who always see the truth, who always appreciates, appreciates life and love. That is you. And we also have obedience. Once again, justice will be served on the behalf of of the high priestess of earth and the high priestess of earth is you it's you and i also see you a high priestess of water here high priestess of earth and high priestess of water so this is once again your identification so justice will be served for you I will read the definition of High Priestess of Earth and High Priestess of Water, okay? One card is three, the other one is four. So, the High Priestess of Earth. When you come, when you choose the symbol of the High Priestess of Earth, and next, the, go the goddess of night am not think you to take care of your health and your beautiful body. So justice might be served to you, okay, um, because you are exhausted. Your enemies try to mix you with mud. You understand? You were thrown face down into mud. Mud is also represents slander. You were slandered. Your name was slandered. You were stalked. You were harassed. Your karmics are sick individuals that wanted to level you with the ground. But it will not work. It did not work. And that's exactly. Obedience will prevail. Justice will prevail for your karmics. And a high priestess of water. When a high priestess of water visits you. It is to remind you that all things change. Like the powerful element she represents. Means you will change. You know, it's given me that idea that the karmics, these karmics that are about to go to jail, okay, here, this female here, and another couple, maybe this is, could be, uh, you know, two females here. Just to show you the comparison, this is in the position where you end up because of the defamation, slander, corruption, abuse, land, stalking, harassing, spreading rumor, gossiping. This is, this is how they painted you. They compared you as your shit. That's exactly what they did. And this is who you truly were the whole time. High Priestess of Water. Intuitive, healed, your opposite, 
You understand? So that's why we have justice here, because justice must be served. Must be served. Your karmics defame you, slandered you. And this is who you truly are. So yes, they will be held accountable for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is absolutely not even a slight doubt in that aspect. Not a single slight doubt. Let's work a little bit with rocks. What messages for you? For stones. Red Jasper, as long as you keep healthy boundaries, everything will be okay. What does it mean, healthy boundaries? It means that you have to be very attentive. At this period of a very difficult battle you're going through, um, double check your circles, your inner circle. Someone you can trust, someone you cannot trust. Okay? So once again, filter your circle. Have healthy boundaries. Because unhealthy boundaries, toxic relationships, toxic friendships, they only bring nothing but destructions. Only healthy boundaries. And red jasper, the stone of red jasper will help you to, to get a courage to only keep house boundaries. So if you're dealing with any toxic relationship or whatever the case may be, cut it off. And also sit from that abundance. Right? As long as you keep healthy boundaries, you will be abundant. So don't ever let individuals who are not worthy of your help, like you have in your past, in your life again. Because you may choose, may lose money. Okay? You may lose money. And have to start over again. And I have a card. Trust. Trust what I just said. To be true. Alright my wonderful collectives. This is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I truly do. Please don't forget to like. That way my videos get promoted. To other. Uh, recommended to other. Uh, potential uh, collectives. Be kind to one another, but most of all, be kind to you. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.